Hello, I'm Paul Smith. I'm Lucas. Duncan. And we're in Maximo Park and we're talking to you through the medium of enemy.com. It's been 10 years since we put out our first album and I suppose that the lead up to, to the album itself is almost a different period to when, once the album was out. We realised that people actually liked our band and it went into the charts and all that sort of thing. Um, we, but we, I think leading up to it, we were just very fired up. We felt like we had a lot to prove to the world, and you know, that's the that's a lot of young people are like that. Um, and we we still carry that on today, but it's um, you know, it's it's filtered through ten years of experience now. And to cast your mind back is is quite difficult because you you've changed, but you're still the same. And moment when I listen to the music from that time it, it sort of it brings back lots of memories but it also and, and feels distant but also feels relevant still and we, we sing a lot of those songs to this day um, we don't we we haven't forgotten them or anything like that it was a big DIY kind of thing I think a lot of there was still very much like record your own stuff put it out and we were lucky we had a friend who kind of lent us some money to put out seven inch and Lucas was down in London for a bit, so he could take it into Rough Trade, and they made that record, like their you know, record of the week or whatever, and put it in the window. He said, "You should get this," you know. So it, it was more like it was. I think, I think we we just thought we'd play in Newcastle and maybe Glasgow, maybe maybe parts of the north. So when people heard about it everywhere else, it was just like very exciting. And yeah, there were a lot of northern bands, and it's it feels like you know you don't hear quite so much. That, that, you know, there's, you think, where are the northern bands? They're there, but you know, it's just not the same kind of maybe the same coverage because with the internet, it makes there's so much choice for so many bands that at that point it was still very kind of focused, I guess, on areas kind of kind of popping up. I think we were quite cynical, like you know, in Newcastle, the, the record industry this sort of weird thing would appear in one shape or form, maybe once or twice a year for some reason some a and r guy would come up or some conference be some gig or, or there'd be some conference and and then it would you know people would get really excited as if like everything was going to change and you know we we're going into this new future and then people obviously they'd leave and nothing would have happened and you, you sort of began to realize that it what you know it was just a matter of doing it what you what you wanted to do and do it as best as possible and so that if you did have to encounter this thing the music industry which was down in the city called london You'd be you'd be ready for it when it came, rather than just kind of going. Oh, I think we've got a few songs. Should we just go for it? We're playing four shows um, because we wanted to have a birthday party essentially, and I was thinking, well, we can't just have one birthday party in Newcastle. You know, it'd be nice to spread the love. Um, so we're going to play in Glasgow, London, Manchester, as well as Newcastle. And we were also thinking, well, what what shall we play? And we want to play singles. We want to play some rarities, and we're going to put some rarities on our on our website week by week up until the gigs in November. But we also thought, you know, it's ten years since a certain trigger. Why not just play it? You know, it's thirty nine minutes or something like that, and we can rattle through that. And it'll be interesting to relearn some of those songs. It's uh, it's kind of I think after after ten years of moving forward all the time and having having done five albums in ten years. It feels like the right time to to look back and say, well, what 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 is this record all about? What what were we up to? And kind of then we can move on again. And and it's you know it's I don't want to say a victory lap, but you know it, it, a lot of bands don't get to ten years. You know, like I I didn't know if we'd get to a third record or a fourth record. And we've just kept going and done five records and and thought to ourselves, right, let's let's revisit that time and see. See and see whether people are interested. In